Hello to all my Fox Hollow fam, I'm Todd and welcome to Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. You know how they say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? But you're, you know, just tired of the same old thing? This week I'm going to show you how to make jalapeno cheddar bagels. They're spicy and cheesy, they're perfect with just a little bit of butter, or if you want you can make some really rockin' breakfast sandwiches with them. So if you're ready, then let's have some fun. To start off our bagels, we're going to go ahead and add four and a half teaspoons of sugar, four ounces of warm water, whisk this here quick, try and get the sugar dissolved, and to that we're going to add a packet of yeast, and whisk it again. Trying to get the yeast dissolved and let it sit for about five to ten minutes, give or take. When you see the water becoming very frothy, then you'll be good to go. Now that we've got everything good and frothy, we're going to go ahead and add three and two tablespoons of bread flour. and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Get our dough hook going here. And then once we start getting the mixture to come together a little bit, we're gonna add some water to it here. Go ahead and add a little bit of a three quarter of a cup of water. just to get things moving here. Go ahead and add some more in here. And our dough is starting to come together, so we're going to add in some minced jalapeno. And continue kneading the dough here. Once your dough starts to come together, you're going to go ahead and let it knead here for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, now that our dough has done kneaded, we're going to go ahead and form this into a ball. And one thing I forgot to mention to everybody here is the best way to tell if your dough is ready is just to check to see how sticky it is. If you have a sticky dough, just add a little bit extra flour because you more or less you'll be able to kind of tell by the texture and we're just going to form this into a nice ball and then get it in a bowl and cover it with a damp cloth for two hours there we go. and the smoother you get your bagel dough the better off it is going to be. And trust me, when you guys get a bite of these bagels here later, these are fantastic. Now that our dough has sat here for two hours, we're going to just go ahead and use all our aggression here and just punch a hole right there. And just let this sit here for another 10 minutes and we'll be good to go. Now that our dough has sat here for another 10 minutes, we're going to go ahead and get it on a floured surface and form it back into a nice smooth dough ball. The smoother you get it, the better off it's going to be. That's one thing you'll learn with this. Keep rolling it and getting it as smooth as you possibly can. 
And then once we get this smoothed out, we're going to cut it into eight pieces, which I think this looks pretty good here. And just cut it into nice little chunks here. Myself here. And then we're just going to roll these into even smaller dough balls on the next step. Alright, now that we've got our pieces cut here, we're going to form these back into even smaller dough balls. Like I said, a recurring theme here in this episode is you want to have everything as smooth as possible here. Just trying to keep on Make sure everything's nice and smooth and no uh, rough edges or anything like that. So just, if you have to, take your time with each of these. I think that's pretty good there for a start. Go ahead, go ahead and do another one here. Once you get the hang of it and know how to smooth the dough out pretty quick. It's, it doesn't take that long to do. Yeah, just keep on trying to keep these as smooth as you can because these are really, really good and they turn out so nice. Little trick I learned with handling any type of dough, which is a shout out to whenever I worked at the pizza shop I used to years ago, is you see crevices, just keep on pinching. Take it around and just keep on pinching and rolling it in your hand here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good here. We're going to go ahead and get the flour cleaned off, and then I'll show you the next step. Alright, now that we've got our flour mess cleaned up here, we're just going to take our thumb and just press down in the middle. And just make a nice little hole in each of our bagels here. Then once we do that, we're going to go ahead and cover these for 10 minutes while we get ready for the next step. All right, we got some hot water boiling here on the stove. We're gonna go ahead and just immerse our bagels in here and just watch it here for a minute. You want to dunk each side of the, your bagel in the hot water here for a minute and then just return to your parchment paper to let it dry. Okay, we have boiled both sides of our bag. We're just going to go ahead and transfer it back over to our parchment paper and just start on our next one here doing the same thing. You want to do one bagel at a time and you just don't want to get things overwhelmed because when this water gets hot, it does bubble. Alright, we got our bagels boiled off here. We're going to shut off our heat here. And then we're going to let these dry and cool and then we're going to top them with some jalapeno and some cheddar cheese. Now that our bagels have dried and we're done boiling them. We're gonna go ahead and take a egg wash of just one egg. And just paint the tops of these pretty good. You know me with stuff I'm not very pretty or but just do the best you can with them. And trust me when you guys get a bite of these these are absolutely awesome 
and I'm super excited to be making these for you guys this week. I had made these earlier in the week and actually never thought that they would be as good as they are and I'm really excited about sharing these. Now that we've got the egg here, we're gonna go ahead and take a jalapeno and just kind of press it in the center there. Don't have to be too pretty with it. If you wanna add more, that's up to you. We'll add one there. And then take some shredded cheddar cheese and just top your bagel with it. Then once you get these gun covered in the way that you like them, you want to get it in the oven at 425 degrees, degrees for about 18 to 20 minutes or until they're golden brown. And you'll be able to tell pretty easily. Okie doke. I think we're good to go here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get these in the oven and get them baked off. Now it's time for my favorite part, the taste test. So let's get a little bit of bite here of our little bagel. Oh my goodness, you guys are gonna absolutely love these bagels. Enjoy. Wrapping up today, I wanna to thank you again for joining me and also encourage you to check out our friends and support channels listed in the description below. And just remember, good times and good food on Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. I'll see y'all soon. If you like this video or any of our other videos, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for future shows.